Sam Denis. Sam Denis, the mystical, mysterious, magical, and sometimes miraculous encyclopedia of Reno government. Sam, that's me. I'm an Air Force Academy graduate. I spent many years flying fighters and bombers. My airline, Pan American, was blown out of business by the terrorists back before people really worried about terrorism. And ever since they were blown out of business, I've attended virtually every single county commission and city council meeting, airport meeting, since 1994. That's why I call myself the Encyclopedia of Reno Government. And I don't want to, and I am, I am, I have been the driving force, the driving force for most, for about 90% of all the good things in Reno and Washoe. And I'm, most of the things I talk about are very, very important. Some are not quite so important. For instance, I take a look at today's agenda, and I noticed that you're trying to conserve with ink, and I noticed that vir virtually every item is underlined. That is a, a waste of an awful lot of ink, underlining all, and makes it harder to read. And that, secondly, that young lady over there speaking on item 31, the open media law says that agenda items, are, and I'm not trying to pick on the county, uh, county manager who I got appointed to the job, but the open media law says that agenda items are supposed to be readable. Take a look at item num number 31. There are 247 words in one sentence. How can you read a sentence with 237 words? And Mr. Hartung's over there smiling about it, too. That is not readable. Somebody could challenge that to the uh, attorney general as being uh, against the open media law. Violation of the open media law, which has been in the headlines lately with the, um, with the um, brouhaha over there at the school board. And anyway, today I'm here to talk about this item number three, which they call the margin tax. I'm here on the record. I brought, I helped bring Tesla to Reno. I helped save Burning Man. Now I'm here to make sure that item number three, uh, uh, issue number three, the margins tax, which was really a revenue tax. I'm here to be the driving force to make sure that that does not pass. The Reno Gazette has come out in favor of that, of that uh, crazy scheme to take money away from everybody, not from your profits, but from your revenues. Where have you ever seen a tax on revenues? The Reno Gazette regurgitator media mouses are in favor of that kind of a tax, and that is abominable. So I'm here with my 100, freight old $100 bill, and I'll take anybody on out there on YouTube or in this room, and I'm betting my $100 bill that Sam Denae will be the driving force, the driving force that obliterates item three, the margins tax.